Hey guys, and don't worry about um the fact that I keep saying I'm going to um add on to my Minecraft Let's Play because I will soon, maybe even today. There's just a lot of other things I got want to get out, so many different ideas. And so earlier today I released a video, you may have seen it, about me messing around with random stuff in Minecraft Java Edition. Now I'm going to recently in the mail I got my NES blinking light win. And you know, it's basically just a thing for NES, blah blah blah. First cartridge based console in North America by Nintendo. And it makes it less faulty because it's really faulty. And uh, I'm gonna do a review on it just so you have another source to um, know that it works. So, yeah. Um, here's the Samurai Bro slash Duck Hunt. And there you go. And here, oh my god, wow, I didn't, I didn't even have to change the um, settings. It literally worked first, first try, which is, because usually you have to like set it and then you gotta change channel and change it back. But this literally worked first try. Super Mario Bros. 2. Isn't that awesome? You don't have to do anything, it just works. And here's Punch Out. First try. So as you can see, the NES blinking light one is perfect. Especially since if you want to buy pins and you're going to buy like 3 in 10 years, which is what a lot of people have had to do, that's $30. However, the NES blinking light one is $30 and it'll probably last for the rest of your NES's life. Which is pretty awesome and it works better. And it may be a little hard to take out, but what I like to do is I take my pointer finger and my thumb and, and with both fingers and, you know, just pull it out. That's all you gotta do. Just an extra little reminder. So, yeah, and it comes with these awesome stickers. Mm. So, yeah, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.